Hey there YouTube right, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate this bench sling. Now unlike the other ones, this one uh, pretty much ends up connecting at the elbow. That's the spot right in there. Um, obviously you want to do it on both arms. Where are the other ones we've used? This goes up on the uh, the upper arm. This Sewan's one. Um, you may have seen some of the videos I've done with this. Pretty decent for the money and then this gray one so the other ones are really good for uh, shoulder support where this one not as much but uh, this is uh, honestly seems like better quality and whether it allows you to lift more uh, you know is another question so Mark Bell has a bunch of different versions of his bench sling or slingshot he calls it and so you can get uh, quite a bit of assistance on uh, one of his I think it's up to, to 15 to 25 percent which is for me I'd almost probably be hitting uh, 450 to 500 where with these guys I'm uh, 420 maybe I could do 430 440 who knows but uh, eventually we'll get one of those and compare it so we're going to do uh, some sets here. I guess I'll go ahead and get this going with uh, 135. Now it does take quite a bit of uh, weight just to... <laughs> I can't even get that to go all the way down. So um, 135, you know, we'll, we'll press it down on the chest. curious if I just put some weight on the bar how much weight it would take to press that to have the weight actually hit my chest uh, because like I said I, I have to apply some quite a bit of force to get these uh, to get my hands out there where they would be uh, in line with my chest so we're gonna add some more weight so due to some injuries, I uh, definitely spend my time working out, warming up. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> uh, you know what's funny? This, this is actually the second time I filmed this video. The first video, which we may put some of the footage in, turned out pretty good, but I wasn't wearing my weight belt and my tank top was coming up, so it was like exposing the old stomach, you know. So I don't really care for that in the video. But uh, we did work our way up to quite a bit of weight in that video. And I may edit some of that in. So at some point you see me with a different color shirt on. And the other aspect, I was not... I had this thing up on my upper arm, not on my elbow. So. And of course we didn't put the weight plate on that side, guys. <laughs> oh. This is where you wish you had a spot, right? Alright. So just 185. And this is gonna take a while to get through this. We're gonna do 185, 225, 275, 315, and then who knows from there. Alright. And normally I would edit that out, but so for me, I would say one eighty five feels like one thirty five. All right. Put some forty fives on here. Or another set of forty fives.
So I can't tell you folks that I'm not a little afraid that this will slip off the elbows. That's the one reason I like the other design. But out of the three that I own, this is by far the best quality as far as stitching goes in material, material thickness. So where the other ones I would be concerned that they would possibly break and you could end up with a shoulder problem. These I'm more concerned about slippage. All right, so 275. Now it's going to start to feel heavy. Okay. From here on up, I'll do this way. Even if I'm a lot stronger than this, it always still feels heavy. At least until you're warmed up. Hopefully that's not a sign of what's in store for me, because that, that was painful. <laughs> All right, we'll go up somewhere over 300. So we're uh, going up a significant amount here. I didn't uh, film the last two sets, and uh, probably won't record all of them going forward, just because this will drag us out quite a bit. But. We're slowly getting warmed up. Even though the weight is obviously getting warmer. Right. All right. So this thing definitely works, folks. I will tell you. So we went up another 15 pounds on each side. And... Let's see how this goes. I'm trying not to wear myself out so we can potentially put up some big numbers today. So really the thing is that stops me from doing a lot more reps is locking out at the end. That is a lot of weight and it's hard to do folks. <laughs> Alright, so we went up another 12 and a half pounds on each side. 25 overall. Um not quite where I got to last week. But uh, the goal will be to put another five on each side and probably call it a day unless I do something spectacular. Now, um, I am stopping before I really feel like I'm pushing myself. It's not real smart to lift this much weight in a basement by yourself. Um, just keep that in mind. I was really going crazy. Um, this would really be even more dangerous. All right. Yep. <laughs> so, for the spotter, we would have got three or four probably. Um, we're going to go ahead and try five more pounds. I have no doubt if I had a spotter, uh, instead of the 
10 5 and two and a half on the end we would replace that with probably a 25 and i believe i would be able to at least get one rep so folks i have not seen this kind of weight since i was uh well, i'm not going to say how old i am but uh, 16 years ago uh, and now i did i did do more weight than that without this kind of assistance but uh this is uh Actually, a little intimidating doing this. So hopefully the sling will work good. And notice that I switched to gloves um, to protect my wrists, mainly my right one. So let's see here. Which I hate these things compared to the wraps. I love that well. All right, so. Got another one, no doubt. Um, we'll stop there. That was uh, enough to show me that this thing works. Whether it shows you guys, another story. I'm going to drop down. Oh, almost want to say 275. See how many reps we can do. So uh, we drop back down to 275, and we will uh, rep out here. This is, uh, you know, be nice if this was like repping with 225 for me. So if that was the case, without any kind of support, I'd be doing somewhere over 20. Whether it's 20, 24, whatever, right? But uh, this, if, you know, I don't lock out all the way, we potentially could get quite a few reps. I'm going to get my... Little towel out so I don't hurt my chest. Um, that also might allow me to cheat a little bit. When I say cheat, you know, a little extra bounce. But hey, there. So, got rid of those gloves. I hate those except for the really heavy stuff. folks thanks for on the video uh, this will allow you to lift more hopefully will help you uh, you know drive past some areas and strength does not provide the same shoulder support in my opinion as the other ones but uh, it works please like please subscribe thank you